Welcome to Network Marketing Pro. My name is Eric Worre, and today I want to talk about the network marketing profession itself. It may be one of the most misunderstood professions on earth. People around the world have their opinions about it. They have their misperceptions about it. There's a lot of myths rolling around about the network marketing profession. People think only the people at the top make money. People think most people don't earn anything. People think that all, all different kinds of things. They think you have to jeopardize relationships in order to be successful in the business. They think it's not a real business. Even though this profession does over $180 billion a year in retail sales, even though approximately 100 million people are involved in the network marketing profession around the world, even though approximately $200 million US is paid out every single day in commissions in this great profession, even though those facts are out there, there's a lot of misconceptions. There's a lot of misplaced uh, perceptions in the world. And today, my message is a little bit different than my, what you might think. A lot of people get frustrated and say, well, people just need to understand. People need to wake up. People need to stop being a part of the matrix and understand what's going, the realities of the new economy. And that's all true. Yes, people do need to do that. But I think the network marketing profession needs to look at itself and it needs to get better. This, is, this message today is a little bit of a wake-up call to the network marketing profession. Now, why do I say that? I think a lot of the perceptions are self-created. I think people involved in the network marketing profession, and I've been involved and around the profession for many, many years, and I'm guilty of it too. Sometimes the perceptions are created by the way we present the products or the opportunity to the world. Sometimes we get so excited that we misrepresent our products and our opportunity. Let's talk about products for a moment. Some companies have products that are involved in healthcare. Some products are involved in weight loss. Some are involved in nutrition or different kinds of things that will, will improve the quality of somebody's life. And that's all true. They, they will, they can improve the quality of someone's life. But people get so excited that they start throwing around big language that they can't substantiate. They throw out language like this product will cure this. This product is guaranteed to create this result. This product is guaranteed to create that result. There's so much hype. It's a miracle cure. It's a miracle product. It's a miracle this. It's a miracle that. And they have no substantiation behind that claim. They just heard somebody else say it. So they say it, and then the next person starts saying it, and guess how much credibility that gives the network marketing profession? Less and less and less. As we go out there and provide more and more and more hype, people believe it less and less, as they should. The more hype you hear, typically, the less substance there is. So think about what you can do to make sure that within you, your organization, you are making responsible claims about your product or your service, that you're not over-hyping it. If anything, you're under-hyping it. Even if you've had incredible, unbelievable results, even if you feel that this product cured something in you, you can't use that language. There's laws against using that type of language and if you continue, and if the culture continues to overhype, there's going to be more and more and more regulatory scrutiny inside of your company, inside of the profession itself. And here's what I want you to understand. The truth is enough. The truth is more than enough. When it comes to the products or services, guess what we do in network marketing? 
We provide an important educational need in the marketplace. There are products and services that, that can improve the quality of, of a person's life. And we, can, we need to educate the public, the consumer, the potential consumer, the customer, about the qualities of that product. But we don't need to overhype it. The truth of your product or service is enough. So whatever your company says is okay, follow that model and resist the urge to use this magical language. The, these big uh, words like cure. You don't want to use cure. You don't want to use guaranteed to provide X result. You don't want to use take this and you don't have to do anything else. Be careful with that type of language because it doesn't serve us in our profession. The other category that I think uh, as a profession we need a wake-up call on is how we represent the opportunity. And I've been there. You're talking to a prospect and they're not quite sure. And then you start adding some things on. You start saying, hey, don't worry about it. It's easy. It's easy. Just come in and the company takes care of this and there's all this support here. It's easy. Everybody's having success. Be careful with that language because here's the truth. If you're going to be an entrepreneur, is there such a thing as an easy path for an entrepreneur? I don't think there is. Now, certainly there are benefits. I believe network marketing is a better way. If you have an entrepreneurial bone in your body, network marketing is a better way than other entrepreneurial paths that you can take. There's more support here than starting your own business in practically any other form, but it's certainly not easy. It's challenging. It's tough. Uh, many people decide after they get started that, <clears throat> guess what? They, they're not willing to put in the work. You know why there's such a big drop-off rate in network marketing from the people who join and decide not to continue to build? Because they were told that it was a piece of cake. They were told that you, you hardly have to work at all. They were told that you don't have to sell anything. The product sells itself. They were told all these things and they got in and all of a sudden they realized, oh my gosh, I have to sell. Oh my gosh, this is challenging. Oh my gosh, this is, this is work. I'm building a real business here. This isn't what I signed up for. The person who sponsored me, they told me it was going to be a piece of cake. And when it isn't a piece of cake, when it becomes a challenge, then they decide to leave. See, it's not easy, but it's worth it. Everyone isn't going to be successful. Most people aren't successful at anything. Most people who start a college career don't get a degree, most people. Most people who get a real estate license don't sell a home. Over 90% in the United States of people who get a real estate license never sell a single home. Most people don't finish what they start. That's the truth. Why would anything be different? Most businesses that start traditional businesses that start aren't successful after five years, most. So what would make network marketing any different? The success rates are what they are. Here's the truth. In network marketing, many people get involved and decide, oh my gosh, this is real work and I don't want to do it. The price of entry is so low, they, can, they, they decide to go the other way. Some people get involved just to use the products and that's it. Not, they're not making any income. Some get involved and have a few customers and they make a few dollars. Maybe cover the cost of their own product that they're using themselves. Some earn a little, a lot of people earn a little bit of money, two, three, four, five hundred dollars a month. Some who decide to go work really, really hard make more than that. And the few that really pour it on do extraordinary work, put in extraordinary effort, are willing to face their fear in, a, in an extraordinary way create huge incomes and become financially free. But that's not everybody. That's true in every walk of life. Same thing's true here. So when you tell somebody there's no selling, that's not true. They're selling. You're going to be selling ideas. You're going to be selling products. You're going to be selling services. You're going to be encouraging people to act differently. That's what selling is. There's nothing wrong with that. When you tell them that Everybody's successful. That's not true. 
It's hard work, but it's worth it. Now, some people will say, hey, all you have to do is, is come into network marketing, work hard for a few years, and you can be financially free instead of 40 years. See, I don't know anyone, and I've been involved in network marketing for over 28 years. I don't know anyone who got involved for a few years and then went to the beach and have been sipping on pina coladas ever since. I don't know any entrepreneur that's ever done that in or outside of network marketing. If you're an entrepreneur, you're an entrepreneur. You're growing and building something all the time. So whether it's two to five years, you could build a foundation. You can build a, a, a framework for a long-term career, but you still gotta support it. You still gotta work at it. You still gotta evolve. You still gotta get better. You still gotta grow. What, we're, what I think network marketing is saying is your next 40 years can be much better. The, the quality of your life can be much better than a 40-year career, for some people, a 40-year career doing something that you don't enjoy. So all of this kind of leads to this phrase that comes over and over in my mind all the time, and that's this. Network marketing isn't easy but it's better. Network marketing, uh, everybody doesn't succeed in network marketing. But if you decide that you wanna do something with your life, it'll give you an opportunity without limits. Network marketing requires selling, but so does any significant position in business. It requires selling. Selling makes the world go round. So if you misrepresent the product or the opportunity, I believe your your future is limited because people will constantly have an expectation that cannot be met and they'll be constantly disappointed with you. If you set an expectation that, hey, it's hard, but it's worth it. Hey, our products are valuable, but they're not magical cures. Then people are gonna respect you more. If you go back 30 years, franchising was a dirty word. And you know why it was a dirty word? Because it wasn't regulated. People were saying, hey, join my franchise, and all you have to do is you invest this money, and we're going to send you unlimited number of customers. You never have to worry about customers. We'll take care of it, and you're going to be financially free. And people got involved, and they didn't get the customers, and they weren't financially free. You, you sign up as, with a franchise with us, and, and we provide all the systems, and you don't have to worry about it. It's easy. Everybody succeeds. You don't have to sell. They would tell these things to people who are joining franchises. And that expectation couldn't be met, and everybody felt bad about the experience. But here's what happened. The franchise model worked fine, just the expectations were out of whack. What happened was the professionals came in, and if you wanted to, you, if you want to join a franchise today, you have to sign a stack of paperwork about this thick. And on every page is something like, I understand that I could lose my investment. I understand that this is a risk. I understand I could lose more than my investment. I understand this is my business. I'm gonna be pro provided support, but I'm not guaranteed any success. I agree, I understand, I agree, I understand. And then you write your check for 100, 200, 300, 500,000 dollars to start your business. Now I'm not saying network marketing has to get to an inch and a half this thick of expectation management but I think we need to get closer than we are today with all the magic beans and instant success and you could be a millionaire overnight. Everyone's winning. Product sells itself. It's easy. You know, there's no selling involved. Give us a few years and then you'll never have to work again. All that nonsense. What do you think has more credibility in the marketplace? It's hard. It's challenging. It's difficult. But for the right person, it's worth it. Or... It's easy, it's simple, it's magic beans. We cure everything and we give you instant success for everyone. Which has more credibility? It's hard, it's challenging, but it's worth it, okay? If you're willing to stretch, if you're willing to grow, network marketing can create a future for you. But if you don't change this culture in your group, if you don't change this culture in your company, if the, if the profession itself doesn't change this culture and get more serious about how we're presenting ourselves. Because guess what? We have a better way. 
We're just packaging it like amateurs. We have a better way. The truth is enough. So this, my message to you, set in love, because I've been involved for a long time and I've, I'm guilty of all of these things. I'm just telling you, the landscape today, as I travel the world, we're 2% away from a tipping point. But the tipping point comes when we treat the product and service with respect and responsibility. And we treat how we represent the opportunity with respect and with responsibility. This is a network marketing wake up call and I hope you're ready to hear it. That's our show for this week. I hope you got value. Ladies and gentlemen, my wish for all of you is that you decide to become network marketing professionals, that you decide to go pro because it is a stone cold fact that we do have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have a great day and I'll see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.